I bet that wasn't recording any audio because I'm amazing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna have some hummus. I've got the um, roasted red pepper hummus and some Mediterranean herb pita chips. They're my favorite, both the hummus and the chips. Um, so yeah. Got my hummus, got my chips, got my water, phone on silent, and my vape. Yeah, I've been planning this video for a while, and I didn't get around to making it when I first started, but I, um, oh, I wanted to say I turned my fan off, so it's, you should get good audio now that I've turned the microphone on, but I do have my window open because I don't like to be hot, and so any noise is probably from that, or from my cats, who are messing around, um, What was I saying? Oh, but yeah, I've been planning this video for a while. I just haven't um, got around to making it. And then I did start making videos and I started my YouTube channel and I just couldn't, I don't know. And I was just, I was just doing it while I drove around. And so that made it easy to make content. Cause it was like, oh, I'll just turn the camera on while I'm driving. Talk, boom, done. But this is like literally like thought out literally like literally like um this is literally thought out planned out i made notes um so if i do look at something it's probably those um just so i can stay on topic and know what i'm talking about because if you've watched my other videos you know that i get off topic a lot um so yeah that's the plan and um this is not clickbait i want to i want to like bold underline 50 point font that this is not clickbait um so let's see where do we get god i was how old was i that's the question it's like i can't remember how old i was and i want to because i'm hoping i'm like 12 or 13 and not you know an 18 year old reacting like this but um what was i gonna say uh so i'm trying to think i know she was still in school but i wasn't but i dropped out and got my ged so i don't really have a time frame so we're gonna go you know what i'll meet you in the middle i was 14 or 15 that's the middle shut up basically basically we lived out in the middle of nowhere I'm not joking you I know people say that all the time no this was the middle of nowhere I look tired I just got off work I'm not on anything um I bet you my ring light dies I bet it dies um but yeah, we lived out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, in order to get to town, it was probably a 30 minute drive. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I was, well wait, how old are you when you go to high school? How old are you when you go to kindergarten? <laughs> now I kind of want to go, I was like 15, 16. Yeah, we'll go with that. We're going to go with 15. I was 15. So, I made notes. Why is this so hard? Um, so, I'm going to tell you about the time there was an intruder in my house. And I'll get through all the logistics. <sighs> Hello? You should hide a baby doll in your stove. <laughs> okay. So, to recap, I got a phone call, and I had to take it, and it was about a 20-minute phone call, and 
<sighs> While I was on that phone call, I was eating, and so now I don't want any more. <laughs> so this is not going to be like a come eat with me story time, because I'm not eating anymore. I'm going to try to remember to look at the lens. If you see me glance over, it's just to make sure that I'm, one, actually recording, two, my camera's not dying, three, memory card's not full. Okay, I don't even remember where I was. So basically, like, I'm only 28, but you know how one day, like, everybody had, what was it, DSL or something like that, and then Wi-Fi, boom. Yeah, we live so far out that we still had dial-up. So, I mean, we could have gotten satellite internet, but the down payment was outrageous, and we was not, we was paycheck to paycheck. I'm going to say it. Our house, if you were looking at our houses, there was um, our house, and then my aunt's house was next door, with a pretty big driveway shared between the two. Um, but, um, so my dad, my mom, oh, mom didn't work. So I was at least 16. Fuck. Juh. Um, mom didn't work. So yeah, mom got sick. Um, so yeah, I was at least 16 with this. God, I keep getting older. The longer I'm dragging this out trying to tell you the story, the older I keep getting. Um, I started out 13. Um, so yeah, I was 16. At least 16. Wasn't... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was 16. Exactly. Okay. So, middle of nowhere, BFE. Um, dad worked third shift. Mom didn't work because mom got sick. Um, and I remember he worked third shift because we stayed at home during the nights alone. And what we would do is we would... Um, mom would either sleep on the couch... Or I would sleep, or um, she would sleep in the floor, like next to me, um, while I watched TV all night. And I was 16. I had just dropped out of high school. Yeah. And so I didn't have, like, a really strict, like, schedule. So I was up all night, sleep during the day. Um, but this night, I would stayed up for a couple of hours, you know, past when Mom went to bed. And, no, no, that's not this story. Oh, I'm oily. Um, so, this night, Mom took Dad to work, and I believe I stayed at home. Yeah, Mom took Dad to Yes! Okay, I figured it out. I made notes. Why is this so hard? Um, Mom took Dad to work. Normally, I would stay up all night while she slept, and then I'd wake her up to go get Dad. I would go to bed. They would come home. Dad would go to bed. Mom would honestly probably go to bed just gonna say it uh, we were we're big sleepers big sleepers uh we were um i don't know anymore i don't know about my dad anymore but now i'm good with like five hours and i think my mom is good with like three because she crazy um so yeah <sighs> let's try to get this out um so yeah dad worked third shift and I remember she took him to work. She came home for some reason. She just had like this weird vibe, this weird feeling. And so we actually went over to my aunt's house next door and we spent the night there. I mean, honestly, it wasn't a big deal because I'm up all night. I'm going to be watching movies wherever I go. I have a laptop. Sorry, hold on. There is cat hair all over my microphone. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we were next door and we went to sleep and nothing eventful happened. Just, she had that weird feeling. So we went next door and, um, spent the night there. Well, she got up early in the morning. I woke her up and instead of, for, instead of me going home and going to bed, I actually was going home to make breakfast for mom, dad, and I, I went, yeah. So I was, uh, I got all my stuff. I got my blanket. I got my pillow, my laptop, um, and an onion. I think I was, I think I jacked one of my aunt's onions to put in something that I was making for breakfast. I don't know. And I remember, I remember that I had an onion. Okay. I remember because 
how do you like it's such a weird thing to have that you can't forget it um so i leave my aunt's house and i walk you know i walk next door i walk through the gravels and i'm hopping because i have really sensitive feet so like i can't stand gravel why didn't i have shoes um i get to the front door and i try it it's locked Mom forgot to leave me the house key, and she locked when we left, obviously. So, I don't have a way in. But, me, I know how to break in. So, I go around back, and I know a certain way to, like... Basically, our back door was a piece of crap. And if you... If the wind blew too hard, the door would fly open. So, there was, like, this certain place on the door that you could pop with your hip... And it would make the door open. So, it's like 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun is up, but like barely, so it's still like dewy outside. The grass is wet because it had rained the night before. And I'm barefoot, obviously. But because I can't get in the front door, I'm going to walk around. So, I walk around the house, and I get to the back door, and I notice some things. I notice that... I'm not the most observant person. So, like, while I did notice these things, it's not a shocker that they didn't register. It was more like, oh, and move on. So, um, I get to the back door, and I'm about to walk up, and I think it was, like, a couple of steps you had to walk up to get in the house. And so, I get to the back door, and mind you, the grass is wet, so my feet are wet. And I go to step on the first step, and I notice that there are wet tracks going in up the steps boot prints and you you know what a boot print looks like like you see it and you just know like that's a boot print that's not a shoe that's a boot um and I, I remember that very specifically i remember boot prints and while i noticed them and registered that hey there are boot prints i didn't connect together the fact that my feet were wet and i was walking in the house and was going to be leaving Footprints. So clearly, boot prints meant someone else had walked through the grass and walked up the steps to a door that was already open. So, as I said, the door had the tendency when it rained or when the wind blew really hard to just pop open. So it's not a shock. Like the door could be locked, closed correctly, locked. It's going to blow open when the wind blows too hard. So it's not a surprise that the door's open. I mean, I did pause for a second, but I still didn't connect boot prints, door open. Maybe don't go in there. Um, I get up the steps, you know, because wet boot prints, open door. I don't think anything of it. All I'm thinking at the moment is easy to get in. Because, remember, I've been up all night and I have to cook breakfast for my family. And so I'm not really working on like 100% right now. Okay, so when you walk in the back door... You're in this, I'm trying to explain. So you're in this long hallway. You walk in the back door into this long hallway. And right to the left, right to the left, like no wall or anything. It's just there's the doorway into the kitchen. And through the kitchen is the living room. And then through the living room is the um, the second bathroom and my bedroom. And it's kind of an open floor plan in the living room and the kitchen. Um, so you can pretty much see through the house. If you go straight, it's into the laundry room. If you go right, so it's like a it's like a long hallway that's a laundry room at the end. If you go right, you're into the master bedroom or my mom and dad's bedroom, and then their master bath is in there. Um, so clearly, I go left. Whatever. Um, so I go left, and I'm going through the kitchen into the living room. What also is important for you to know is that I think we were having trouble with our. Oh, I don't know what it's called. Duck, duck work? Not quack, quack, duck. You know, you, you, you turn your thermostat on air and cold air blows out. That. We, did, we didn't have that. It was, there was something up. So we had air conditioning units. And I, I think we had one in my room. We had one in the living room. And then we had one in my mom and dad's bedroom. And so what we had done is we had put up curtains or something to block off the kitchen. So we had basically made a wall 
we're not Donald Trump, um, to make sure that the air stayed in the living room because otherwise it would try to cool down the big space and the air conditioner just couldn't do it. Anyway, I'm going through the kitchen. I get through the kitchen. I go through the curtain. I'm in the living room. And I get incredibly uncomfortable. Just all of a sudden, incredibly uncomfortable. And I don't know why. I know why. You don't know why. You'll find out why. You know, I go over to the couch and I put all my stuff down. And putting my blankets down and my laptop and my pillow. And I remember having tossed the onion down and then having bent over to pick it up. And then... Just the, like, the weird feeling intensified. And so I remember standing there holding an onion. I'm just really uncomfortable. And so, like, I'm standing there, and I look over my shoulder like that. Not, like, turned full body. I'm just, like, incredibly uncomfortable. And, like, you know how you can tell when someone's looking at you. And so, like, I just felt like someone was watching me. Spoiler alert, they were. And so I turn and I look and, and I'm standing there, (laughs) I'm standing there holding an onion and I look over my shoulder and I see boots. Um, I remember seeing those and I just froze for a second because my dad didn't have work boots. Like, first of all, second, if he did, that's not where we take our shoes off. You take your shoes off at the front door. Like, mom would have throttled him. Third, those weren't there when I walked through the house. I walked through watching where I stepped because I had wet feet. And because I knew I was going to have to come through with um, something like a rag or something to clean it up. So I remember watching the floor as I walked. So those weren't there. And so I'm immediately like... I was already, like, uncomfortable, but I'm immediately, like, panic mode. But, like, not, not like, oh, my God, panic mode. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, like, what do I do panic mode? Like, okay, clearly, and honestly, I wish this story ended with me just being, like, and so, literally, I got scared by a pair of work boots, and that's that. I remember, you know, tossing the onion on the couch again. And thinking to myself, like, what do I do? Because I know, I know there's someone in the house. I know that that is someone standing there behind the curtain and that, you know, there's someone in the house. That's all I can say. I know that. And that is like, and the, and I can't explain how I know. Like, I mean, of course you think about, because I did, I thought there were boot prints. The door was open. I didn't make sure the house was empty. I didn't think to make sure the house was empty. We lived out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but that's that's neither here nor there. Um, I just, I know that there is someone behind the curtain watching me. And they're not that far from me. Like, it's not that far. Two, three big steps, and they're, they're got, they got me. And, you know, so I think... What do I do? What do I do? Because if I run, I have to get the door open and the screen door open. And then I have to get off the porch, down the stairs, across the gravel, up my aunt's porch. And then hopefully she answers the door because I locked it when I left. And that's just a lot to do when he can be across the room in three to four big steps. Um, So, you know, I toss the onion down. I don't make any indication that I know anything. I mean, really, do I? Like any sane 16-year-old, I go, hmm, I wonder when mom will be home. And I walk to the door calmly. So freaking calm. I open the door. Mom's not home, clearly, because you would see the car. And also, if she was home, they would be in the house or on their way in the house. Um, So... I'm standing there with the door open and I grab the handle for the screen door and I'm about to push it open. I look over my shoulder again and I look at the boots. Only now the boots are not the only thing I see. I also see the light blue jeans, the white shirt and the blonde hair 
and the blue eyes and the scruff and the pale skin and he is looking right at me and it's creepy like it's a lot in that few seconds because I don't know him he doesn't know me he's literally broken into my house and we are making eye contact so I I don't I don't even I just I throw open the screen door run across like run across the porch down the stairs run across the gravel up my aunt's door or up my aunt's stairs and she won't answer the door basically I I didn't see him come out after me he could have he could have followed me out and then darted between the houses and taken off. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't remember hearing him thump. I thump. Dun, dun, dun. Across the porch. I don't remember hearing the door, the screen door shut again. But he could have been right on me and caught it and came out with me. Oh, that, that, oh. I didn't think about that till just now. Um, what I'm thinking is... We locked eyes. I took off out the front door and across. And so he backtracked through the house and went out the back door. Now, there's a large gap between these two houses. He could have easily met me in that gap. But he didn't. I get up the front porch of my aunt's house and I, you know, I knock on the door and she's not answering. What's good, Anne? What's good? I knocked. I knocked for you. I did. I almost died. That would have been on you. And I try the doorknob. She's not answering. I try to pop it. It's not popping. Um, so, basically, the only thing I can think to do is, because of how the houses sit, if he went out the back door and he didn't come between the gap, you know, the big gap between the houses, he could have went around her house and came that way. And if I had just stood on the porch facing my house... He could have came around and I wouldn't have seen him. So my thought process was back against the door so I can see everything. And I think I stood there for about 15 to 20 minutes waiting. No one answered. What's good, Ann? What's good? And then finally my mom and dad got home. And when they pulled up, my, my dad's first question was, is breakfast done? And my mom's first question was, why are you, why were you just coming out of Aunt's house? And so I tell everything and <coughs> dad didn't believe me. That was probably because we didn't really get along back then, but also he just got off a third shift job. He's tired. He wanted breakfast and to go to bed and now he has to stay up while breakfast is cooked. Also, now mom's cooking. Um, but yeah, so there was an intruder in my house and I could have died. Now, hey, get down. Cats. Um, mom did believe me. Uh, mom's always been into like weird stuff like that. Like we both have an obsession with like very dark things. So, uh, mom believed me. Um, dad didn't. And actually... All of my family but my dad believed me. And one of the reasons I decided to tell this story first is because they always ask me to tell it. And they always get, like, chills. And now they can get chills while they're watching it on YouTube anytime they want. Um, but, yeah, uh, mom believed me, dad didn't. So, fast forward a couple weeks and... <sighs> Sorry, there was a cat here. Um, I'm not sure where dad is at this point. Um, I don't know if he was at... It was during the day, so... I'm not entirely sure where he was at. For all I know, he could have been in bed. Um, but I remember me and mom were cleaning the house. We were, like, spring cleaning. So we were taking out trash, wiping down the counters, pulling everything out of the cabinets and wiping it down. We were mopping and sweeping and vacuuming and... Yeah, so we're home, and we're sprinkling, and I really don't know where Dad is. I could have swore we were home alone, but honestly, if I think about it, he could have been in bed. Um, but uh, I go to take out the trash. She asked me to take out the trash, so I grab the bag, and I take it out. 
and I um, the door we have all the doors open, all the windows, and I walk out the front door. I open the screen door and I walk out to put the bag of trash on the porch because we're gonna you know we put everything on the porch and then we take it to the dumpster. And so um, I put it on the porch, and when I drop it on the porch, this is where I should probably tell you that I'm not the most observant person, if you haven't realized. So I don't really take in my surroundings. I kind of just exist, and maybe that's self-centered of me, but it's just I really don't pay attention to anything outside of me. It's not on purpose. Um, I really have to focus on you to, like, you know, to pay attention. And if you're not talking about something that's going to pull my attention, I will zone out. Um, so that's why I didn't notice when I walked out onto the porch, but when I put down the bag of trash, I, I put it down and I look up, guess who's standing in the middle of the driveway? Guess, guess, oh, you won't get it. Um, standing in the middle of the driveway wearing the exact same clothes. I don't know if it was the same outfit or what, but it was the same white shirt, blue jeans, work boots, blonde hair, looking at me middle of the freaking day middle of the driveway looking at me well we lock eyes for about i don't know a minute a solid minute because i'm like what who like if i move does he come at me if he moves do like do i run in or do i run at him <laughs> like what 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 do i do and so he makes the first move and he darts across the driveway like takes off and he goes through the middle of the houses and of course i lose sight of him because i can't see so I go in and I tell mom, I'm like, hey, that guy that was in the house that was standing behind me, like, he was outside. I just saw him. I just saw him. And she goes outside and he's not there. And she goes out the back door and he's not there. And she's looking and she doesn't see him. I mean, she believes me, but she doesn't see him. And it was just very freaky to, like, have him show up again. You'd think after, like, the first time that would have been it. But no. If I... I'm in a situation like that, there's always a follow-up. And for my next story time, you'll figure that out. It, it's weird. It really is weird. Uh, it's not something I would have expected to happen to me, living out in the middle of nowhere. Um, I will say that um, my aunt lived here, we lived here, and then beside us, so we were sandwiched in between my aunt and then my cousin's family and I do remember stories of the little kids talking about a man in a white shirt and blue jeans and a cowboy hat with blonde hair watching them play from the top of a barn that was um, a little ways away but not like not so far away that you couldn't see it and they were just making it up but like not so close that we could have been like, hey, why are you looking at our kids? Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to say yeah again, but I really want to say yeah again. So, yeah. So, in case you didn't notice, um, my camera cut off. My memory card cut off. It was full in a little bit ago. And now it's got me wondering, like, why is a 128 gigabyte memory card full when it's only got 4.61 gigabytes of video on it? If you know why tell me in a comment so yeah give me a like give me a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i post and i will see you guys later